Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to a New York Times Hide Sudoku. You know the rules, so we'll just get started. Today, by the way, is October 17, 2022. So uh, the two here and the two here will give us a two for the top row, like so. And let's see what else we can find. Well, there's a three here and here, and there's a three here. So this cell must be a three. And we scan downwards, of course, immediately. And uh, these two threes gives us a three for the corner cell in the bottom row, like so. Well, I know an eight will have to go in one of these two cells. And by the way, when I talk, while I'm familiarizing myself with a new grid, uh, it's really just because it makes it easier for me to acquaint myself with the grid. And uh, all of these numbers become like uh, good friends of mine during the solve. So after a while, if I get stuck solving the puzzle, I will think back at some of the earlier findings and uh, they often help me to complete the puzzle. So let's look at the twos. There's a two here and there's a two here and that gives us a two for these two cells or, or for one of these two cells. There's also a two in this row uh, and that leaves only the cell now for a two in the center row. And now, of course, these two twos gives us a two for one of these two empty cells. Well, I know that uh, these two cells will have to be a six and a nine in some order. And why is that? Well, there's a nine here, and that forces a nine in one of these three cells. So we still need a nine for row five, don't we? And that nine will have to go in one of these two cells. Now look at the sixes. Where can we place a six in row five? It can't go here because of the six up here. So it has to go in one of these two cells. So these two cells being a six and a nine, and that puts an eight in this cell. And because of this eight, we need an eight in one of these three cells, don't we? And therefore in one of these two cells up here. And now we know that it has got to be this cell because of the eight here. For the top row, we need a one, four and a five. There's a four here and a five, so Clearly, this cell will now have to be a one. And the seven now and the seven gives us a seven for this cell. And let's see if, I think I'm spotting something here. Now, this cell here is uh, mighty restricted, I think. It can take out one. Uh, can't take a one, two, a three, a four, a five. It can take a six and a, not a seven and not an eight. It can take a six and a nine. Now look at this. You've got a six and a nine here. You've got a six and a nine here. You've got a six and a nine here. So I'll bet you that this cannot be a six or a nine because then we would have a unique rectangle problem and the puzzle would have at least two different solutions and we know that that is not a valid Sudo Sudoku then. So, so seeing that both of these cells will have to be a six and a nine and we know that both of these cells will, can contain a six and this one can only contain a six and a nine this one 
this cell here cannot be a nine because that would make the parcel invalid, as I said. So this is not a, a nine and this cell up here is not a nine. So a nine would have to go in one of these two cells and therefore in this cell. And now we have this nine and the nine can see these three cells. So a nine will have to go here or here, that's clear. Where now can we put a nine in column nine? Because of the nine here, it can't go here. So it must go here. Now we need a four and an eight to complete column nine and I can't place them at the moment. Uh, these two cells will have to be a four and a five in some order. Yes. And of course the one here puts a one in this cell. There's nowhere else it can go in the second row. And that leaves the six that we talked about before and a four. So one of these will have to be a six and the other will have to be a four. And there's a very convenient four down here that can see the cell. So this is a six and this is a four. And we just finished telling ourselves that these two cells have to be a four and a five. Now clearly this cell cannot be a four. Therefore the five goes here and the four here. And this cell now becomes a five. These two cells now are a seven and a nine. And these three will have to be a one, four and an eight. I almost forgot to finish uh, thinking about the fives. There's five here and here, and there's a five here and here. So clearly the five must go here. And we can find a four. Uh, there's a four here and there's a four here. So a four for column one must go in this cell. And now we just need to find a two, six and an eight for these three cells. And uh, we know that the six must go here because of this six and this six, don't we? And uh, the two and an eight we can also place because of the two here. This cell cannot be a two, therefore it must be an eight and this must be a two. Now we have a two here and here, and we have these two twos. So the two must go here. Let's see, I feel that we are getting closer to a completion. What do we need for column two now? We need our one, six, a one, two, and a six, a one, two, and a six. Now there's a two here that can see this cell and there's a two here that can see this cell. So the two must go here. Now we need to find a one and a six. There's a six here. So the one must go here and the six here. Let's see, these two cells will have to be a three and a seven. And therefore this must be a one because that would be the last digit that we need to complete column three. Now we got a one here and a one here and a one up here. So the one clearly goes here. And what else? Well, the six and a nine can be resolved now because we have a six up here. So the nine goes here and the six goes here. You do remember those sixes and nines, don't you? Because we found those two ones uh, at the beginning of the puzzle. And now this nine and the nine here forces a nine in one of these two cells. And therefore, this cell up here cannot be a nine, ergo, it must be a seven and the nine must go here.
Now let's see. Five and a seven for these two cells. There's a five in this box already. So the seven clearly, oh, what was that? So the seven clearly goes here and the five goes here. And now we have a five here and we have a five here. We have a five up here and that leaves only this cell for a five. I think we are making pretty good progress uh, with this puzzle. These cells were a three and a seven, right? We found a seven already for this row. So this one now is a seven and this one must be a three. And in combination with the three over here, we can place a three in this cell like so. And this three now and this three puts a three in this cell because we have a three here that can see this cell. Okay, and now we are stuck with needing a seven and an eight for these two empty cells. This cell must be an eight and this one must be a seven because of the seven up here. And now the eight here and here puts an eight in the bottom row to complete it, the, to complete column five. Now, what do we need here? We need a one and a nine. There's a nine here. So the nine clearly must go here and the one here. And these two ones puts a one in this cell. Now we need a four and an eight to complete uh, this row three. Let's see, uh, we've got a four. Ah, yeah, actually, no, um, I can't complete that at the moment, but let's look at this row instead. It needs a one and it can't go here because of this one. So clearly it has to go here. And this cell now has got to be an eight. And that takes care of the four and eight up here, doesn't it? So the eight goes here and the four goes here. And that gives us a four for this cell because of the four up here. This last digit is going to be a seven. Now, this cell must be a nine. And now we have a seven here and here and here. So the, this seven is a given. We need one more digit for this column and it's got to be a four, that's the last one. And now we just need to complete these two cells and they have to be an eight and a six. There's a six here, so this is an eight and this is a six. I know this was uh, quite a quick solve. And uh, I think the only real point where we needed to use our brains a little bit was the six, nine unique rectangle issue. Uh, once we found that, then the puzzle more or less solved itself. I hope you enjoyed it still, and uh, I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye for now.